My name's Sambal. I'm Brooklyn Ball. This is Rain and Ball. And together we are Australia by the Balls. Byfield National Park. We have just spent the last week in Yapoon soaking up some glorious sun, but now we've headed 40 minutes north to Byfield. We're staying at this hip camp just down the road. It's an awesome little spot, but today we are adventuring our way to the beaches. Can't wait. I've heard it's pretty rough out there, but I think we can handle it. We're just about halfway into the track at the moment and it's about to get sandy so we've got the the old tire deflator we're going to air down now and then get straight into it Sandy. Let's go.
One side is definitely harder than the other side. Yeah, that left side we tried, what, twice? We tried that left side three times. And it, just could not get up. It's a lot steeper and it is a lot boggier. So going up Big Sandy, there's actually three different tracks that you can take. And I assume that they change over time. So we took the one on the right to make it to the top, one on the left, good luck. And just remember like, if you are coming up, the one on the right, I don't know, we assumed it's the side that you come down on, but just make sure you radio. If no one's coming down, it's free for all. Whatever side you go on, you go on, I assume. <laughs> because it's the only one we got up. <laughs> hey, if, if it works, it works. <laughs> all let's, right. Let's go find this beach. <laughs> We made it to Five Rock Beach. You! That full drive track was awesome. It did get a bit narrow, but it was still fun. If you thought Big Sandy was bad, wait until you watch us try and get off this beach because it is soft at the entrance. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. We're the only ones down here. Oh, I can't wait to just chill out for a bit. Um, we did get some footage yesterday, like we said in the car. We did do Big Sandy yesterday as well, and we went to stop Stock Hill Point, Stock Point. Stockyard Stockyard point. point. We went Stockyard Point. So we'll chuck that in now to show you what Five Rocks looks like from there. And where I am right now, Stockyard Point, it is two kilometers of distance. And in between us, there are actually two 300 meter bays for people to swim at. It looks really, really beautiful down there. I can't wait to get down and have a look. footage there are two bays within five rocks and stockyard point so we're actually on the other side of the five rocks with like a really long stretch of beach so you can see behind us there's your five rocks and on this side we've got a huge stretch of beach so those two bays are actually in the middle of us now Tracks out. <laughs> you reckon we're gonna get stuck? No, I'd 
want to be prepared though, because the last thing you want is to be in the middle of a track, blocking the way, trying to rummage through your car to get your recovery gear. So we've packed this in pretty tight because we haven't needed, needed it for most of this trip. Um, so I'm grabbing it out now, just in case. It's better to be prepared than not. Yeah. It's stuck. Better to be safe than sorry. Better to be safe than sorry. Good job. run through the gear that we've got. We've got your standard navigator collapsible shovel if you need to dig yourself out. This is my trusty compressor. We bought this from um, four wheel drive super center so it's a king's brand. I've had this for years and it's still going strong. Good for when you need to air up your tires. Now this is our recovery kit. It just opens up. It's got like your straps, all your shackles in there. Um, we run these rope shackles, so they're fairly good. Lightweight as well, if you're chasing those weights. We've got four max track, um, we've got four max tracks. Haven't had to use them yet. Fingers crossed we don't have to use them today. And then round the front, come with me. A Viper Industries 12,500 pound winch. We haven't had to use this one yet. This one's more for our peace of mind to get us out of those tight situations. Not going to be much help on the beach though. Alright, so my plan is I'm going to have a crack at it. If that doesn't work, come back, let the tyres down more. If that doesn't work, then get the max tracks out. In that order. We've got, we're running 15 PSI in the tyres at the moment, so we can drop them down to 10 if we really have to. Um, and then, yeah, max tracks, and we'll just see how we go. Yeah. Here we go, attempt number one. Let's do it. Well, that was easy. Better to be safe than sorry. I'm gonna back back down and go get Brooklyn now. We decided to punch it straight to Nine Mile Beach and check out Corio Bay. Nine Mile Beach is a long, flat, hard beach and compared to the rest of Byfield, it is relatively easy to drive on. There is beach camping dot all along the way. Um, you can book that through the National Parks website. Corio Bay is amazing. We stayed there just long enough to have a flick and try and catch some dinner before making our way back to camp. back we decided to make a detour and go to Stony Creek for a quick dip. Stony Creek is about a 15 minute drive from the Byfield National Park turn off and is a must see if you're in the area. Woo! 
Ooh. The mosquitoes are hectic here, but Upper Stony Creek is absolutely stunning. There are stonefish here, so when you want to be swimming, make sure your feet are up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we've had a beautiful little dip and there's picnic benches, heaps of grassed areas. If there wasn't as many mosquitoes as there are, we would definitely stay for lunch, but we're gonna head back to camp, I think. We just made it back to camp in time before that huge downpour earlier, which the sun's come out now, but it doesn't look like it's gonna stay out for much longer. There are clouds brewing in the background. Doesn't mean uh, great things for our solar, but that's okay. Um, I thought I'd just quickly share where we're staying. So we're staying at the Forest Fields Camp Stay, which is on Hip Camp. It's also on Wiki. Uh, if you don't have either, you can actually just pull up and they have a registration uh, box that you can put $25 for a group of up to five. So it's one vehicle, up to five people, or if you're a single traveler, it's $15 a night. So it is absolutely stunning. It is an ex-orchard. There's so many trees, beautiful grass. It's a really stunning spot. They even have chickens roaming around that Roni got to meet yesterday, which is really cool. It's just a spot we really love staying at. Anyway, guys, that's a wrap for our Byfield National Park adventure. Uh, if you liked this one, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you at the next one. You.